Hello, my name is Raymond and I was thinking about making a YouTube channel. You know, to re rehearse my presentation skills and what better opportunity would that be than to rehearse on the people who accidentally stumble upon my channel. At the same time, I'm not doing it in Norwegian, my native language. I'm, do it, I'm doing it in English, which would make it even more awkward for me. But I will try. So I was, I was thinking about start with, starting with uh, how to make a CNC machine. So, see you. But before I start, I wanted to make a little bit of a commercial. Uh, I'm at Kolsenstoppen now. And if you're into nature and you're in uh, Oslo and you want to go a little bit outside Oslo, I recommend you to probably go to Kolsenstoppen. You can take the you can take the subway to Kolsos and and you drop off at the next stop, uh, Hauger, and then you can go up to Kolsostop and then come here and have a beautiful view of of Oslo city. It's very nice, and it's also very nice to have a beer up here when it's sunny. So I guess we start then. So I thought about talking a little bit about the electronics that I have so far <coughs> in this project. I'm running Mac 3 on the computer. I will come back to this a little bit later because I'm thinking about doing some tests in this video also. This breakout, this breakout board I bought on eBay. I heard I heard a little bit that it didn't work in many cases, in some cases, on the internet. But, but it worked perfectly fine for me, so far in my tests. This side is powering, powered by my computer via the USB. This side is electronic, electronically um, not connected to the this electronics so it's optocobbler in betweens which means that you have to power this side with 24 volts yeah. with 24 volts on this pin and negative on this pin and then the input channels here won't work if you don't have a connection here because you have to power up the other, the other side of the of the electronics. Also, this output won't work without 24 volt connected here. <coughs> These two pins, I'm not sure, but uh, I've seen videos on the internet where you can use it to pulse wide modulation for controlling the spindle speed and here is output 10 volt 5 volt ground ground and this is pulse pulse and direction for the x-axis pulse and direction for the e-axis pulse and direction for the z-axis and pulse and directions for another axis called a here <coughs> This output is for a hand wheel control. If anybody knows some kind of hand wheel controls that I can connect here, it would be awesome to know. Please do it in the comment below then. So, to get the stepper motor to run w one step, this card in axe direction, for instance, will send a pulse, one pulse out of this connection connector if you want it to go in the opposite direction the polarity of this will switch from high to low or from low to high those are connected to these stepper motor drivers <coughs> These stepper motor drivers 
is powered with 24 volts air. And this is the output to the stepper motors, to the two coils. Here you get the pulse in. If you get the pulse in here, the stepper motor will move one step in one direction based on how you put this switches here. It has switches there, three for pulse and three for how much current the stepper motor will need. So you have pulse and you have ground and you have direction and you have ground. <clears throat> and you have something called enable or NA. I think it's enabled or not. Negative and plus 5 volts. I have not connected anything to them. If you do connect something to them, it will shut down the current to these coils. If you look at the stepper motors, you can't move them around. They're kind of fixed in this position because right now the stepper motor feed the engine with power to lock it in position. <clears throat> and there's the power supply, 24 volt for the whole system. So the Mach 3, when you start it up, it is kind of in reset mode. It's, an, uh, it's kind of a security. You have to push the reset button to make it work. So if I do that, push the reset button, then it's ready to act. And if I now turn on the keys, the x-axis will move in a direction depending on which key I press. Okay, for a test now I have put the switches here. So the stepper motor needs 400 pulses, pulses for one revolution. Off, on and on. Switch 1 is off, switch 2 is on, switch 3 is on. So if I go to Mach 3 in so if I go to Mach 3 and config motor tuning and I set steps per unit to be 400 this means if I move one unit it will send 400 pulses to the micro step driver and um, if we if we send 400 pulses to this driver, it will turn this motor one revolution. <clears throat> so I will go to the manual data interface, reset, this, and G code. I don't know too much about G-code, but a G0 means move in either way direction. And now I have activated it. So the stepper, mot the stepper motor is in X0, Y0 and Z0, which means in the, in the coordinate system, they are at Origo, as we call it in Norwegian, probably in English too. So if I want the x-axis to move to, to position 1, which later will be 1 millimeter, but now it will be 1 revolution, and I press enter, the motor will turn 1 revolution. I can say, I can make the x-axis go back, and you saw it went from 1 to 0 there. I can make x axis go 100 not thousands too much 100 y to go 50 and c to go 30 so when i then and they are now in zero and when i then press enter
<clears throat> they all went in the same exact same time stopped at 150 and 30. I thought about showing a little bit about the input also. If you go to diagnostic, diagnostics, the way the board is set up is that when you get a minus, well, minus, the way the board is set up is that when you get a minus um, on 24 volts on the one input, this input for instance, in one, you get this emergency light to blink and if you and if you do it in input 2 it's connected to here it's you're supposed to put the limit switches <clears throat> and input 3 is the home And input 4 is the digitize. <clears throat> Maybe later I will show you in another video how, how you configure these settings. But these settings comes as, as it is now. It comes with the card. When you set up the card you work with Mac 3. So, thumbs up.